http colon slash slash www.cosmicparadigm.com slash marks underscore corner slash Thursday, January 15th, 2009 Structures Part 2 During 2008, and now in 2009, it has been my privilege to receive, transcribe, and publish messages from certain of our brothers and sisters from other star systems, and other distinguished sources. These messages are available in the archives of this site. They are filled with hope, love, and reverence for that which is uniquely Earth, and uniquely Earth human. I encourage everyone to pay close attention to these messages as we are entering unchartered territory. Nothing like the transition we are now experiencing has ever happened to the humans of Earth during our long history on this planet. This is my fifth posting to Mark's Corner for 2009. We welcome back Brenton of Andromeda aboard the starship Athabantan, in orbit about our planet, for a continuation of his discussion about the structures of Earth humans. Once again we look at the difference in any structure, such as a corporation, if its basis is recognition of the basic worth and equality of all the men and women involved, versus the desires of those at its top. You who are dedicated to building a new civilization of light must conceive of structures different from those currently present on Earth. These new structures could still be dedicated to the production and distribution of goods or services, but they would recognize the needs and equality of all the people involved. They would be structures that would maximize the benefits to all involved, customers, employees, and suppliers. Such a structure is virtually unknown on your planet, due to the idea that some people are worth more than others, that some people are different, that people need to be controlled, that the accumulation of wealth is good, and that comfort and security are more important than looking out for the needs of all. This is why we continue to insist that the fundamentals of all structures must be rethought. Leadership must be seen as just another talent not that which justifies power and wealth. Let us look at re-establishing corporations as collaboratives, as Moraine recently proposed. Everyone would feel that they were part of the new type of structure. Everyone would feel that they are vital to its success. People with different talents would be brought together, not controlled. Some would emerge as leaders. Some would be more suited to other tasks. People would be primary, not just another factor of production. The contribution of the planet would be recognized. All costs associated with producing and distributing a product or service would be accounted for. The result would be completely new type of structure. Such structures will be a part of the new earth, for it is only in the light that you will move forward. Visualize them now. Prepare to implement them. From the chaos will come new way to believe and behave. Vivid memories of old structures should remain as examples of what not to do. This is why it is so important to have you with these memories transition to the civilization of light. New structures will apply only to essential goods and services. Much of what is considered necessary by your modern society will disappear with a lack of promotion of their benefits. For without promotion, much of what you now consider to be essential would not exist. Look to a new way of being without promotion, without selling. This is another false premise upon which the modern corporation is built. Why did the dark energy not succeed in completely overwhelming human society and all humans of this world with the structures it imposed upon them? The light of the Creator continued to burn within individual humans. Many recognized, although few acted on it, that everything was not dark and hopeless. Most simply paid attention to the survival of their immediate family. A few in each society called them explorers entrepreneurs, artists, creators, or innovators, saw that life could be better and set out to achieve something despite the complacency of others. 
It is these innovators who kept your world from completely falling under the domination of the dark energy and its agents. Yes, Mark, you were an innovator in your business career, so you understand going against the established structures. It is people like you, and those who are now attracted to these words, that will pull human society forward. It would be very easy to see the situation as quite dark. It is. But there is hope, and there are cracks in the darkness. Continue to give hope to others so that they may withstand the coming chaos. Show those who would be the innovators that they can rise out of the ashes of a shattered civilization. We will be here to help you in this grand endeavor. What is different this time is our on-the-ground assistance. We will make our presence known. We will remove the dark agents, forcing the last vestiges of the dark energy to withdraw. Soon, very soon, you will have a new way of being. Then what will you do with your level playing field? Do not rely on new technologies to solve basic problems. Many new technologies are based on the need to control nature, to provide a myth scarcity. The new paradigm asserts unlimited wealth and unlimited energy. See that your new structures contribute to a new way of being for all Earth humans. Thank you Brenton. I look forward to more communications from you about structures. Those of us on this planet eagerly await your arrival, less so events associated with the chaos. In truth, love and joy. Mark my heartfelt thanks to those who have made a financial contribution to my work. As I have explained, for the past 12 years I have labored to bring forth the truth about the situation of mankind on this planet and the prospects for our future. It has been a labor of love, to which I have devoted both my full time and resources. I am now reaching the limits of my ability to continue funding this activity. Therefore, I am appealing to those of you who benefit from these communications to support this work by making a financial contribution. You may do this by mailing a check to Mark Kimmel, P.O. Box 270,156, Fort Collins, C.O. 80,527, or click on the Donate button to the left to use PayPal or Donate by credit card. In light of pending changes and the likely unavailability of the internet, I recommend that you save each of my postings to Mark's Corner to your computer. I have compiled an 80-page book containing all 2008 postings. Send a check or money order for $15 to Paradigm Books, PO Box 270,156. Fort Collins, CO 80,527. A CD containing the 2008 messages is $6. These prices include postage within the U.S. for delivery outside the U.S. at $5 for shipping. Reminders. To purchase, 1. Toward a Civilization of Light, or other books by Mark Kimmel. Go to http colon slash slash www.cosmicparadigm.com slash about underscore one html or order from your favorite bookseller. To become part of the Cosmic Paradigm Network, go to the index page of this site, scroll to the bottom, and join. We log published sighting of paranormal phenomenon at current news on this site. You may comment on these postings at copy at zqyx.org. Labels Brenton Corporations Structures